Hi, Ray Bohax here, the successful farming engine man. And I'm over here on location in Columbia, Ohio at the Firestone Farm Tire Test Facility. And though I really, really enjoy getting engines to run very strong, whether they're on a farm tractor, car, truck, combine, or what have you, the fact of the matter is they also have to stop. So today's segment is going to be a few tips about disc brake caliper service. Now, this is a disc brake caliper. It's uh, from a GM vehicle, but it's representative of what you'll find on almost anything. And what it is called is a floating caliper. And what a floating caliper means is that it has a single piston. This is the hydraulic piston that will press the pad out against the rotor, and it's going to float on these pins. By floating, it means that it moves back and forth. Now, for it to move back and forth, there's a bushing here, and then there's the pin that goes through it, and that also attaches the caliper to the, uh, to the mounting fixture. And this bushing will support it and actually act as a fulcrum, as a movement point. And as I said, the pads will ride in here. A common mistake that people make is they do not lubricate the moving parts on the caliper the physical moving parts, the mechanical parts, the pin and the bushing. And to do that, you need to have a special disc brake lubricant. This bushing here, now each caliper design is a little bit different, but they're basically all the same if it's a floating caliper. The opposite of a floating caliper is a fixed caliper, and that will have at least two pistons, a piston on this side and a piston on that side. But most applications use a floating caliper. And what you would do is you would lubricate the, the bushing, the O-ring, and then the slide points. Once you do that, all of the hydraulic energy that is created by the master cylinder to push the pad against the rotor will be used to stop the vehicle and not consumed by the friction of the pin and the bushing in the bore. Now, if you take the wheel off of a car or anything with a disc brake caliper and you notice uneven wear of the pads, usually what you'll notice is that the pad that is attached to the piston will be less worn than the outside pad. That is showing that the caliper is sticking and not floating back and returning. And eventually that one pad will wear out and cause you to do a brake job. If I can answer any questions that you have about brakes, calipers, engines, or what have you on the farm shop, please feel free to contact me at sfengineman at agriculture.com. And please make sure that all the slide points on the caliper are lubricated and functioning properly, not only for safety, but to make sure you get the most life out of your brakes. You have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time in Columbiana. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here, if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video and click here to see more great videos.